this is Audrey from Skirt Fixation and today I'm going to be showing you two ways to sew elastic into the openings on swimwear. This is a neck hole. You can see I've basted the layers together before starting. The this elastic is facing up. Set your ma machine to a zigzag stitch. Place your elastic right on the edge of the layers of swimsuit. You can see I'm using the safety pin trick from Alley of Indie Sew. Let's get started. As you sew, you stop and adjust often, gently pulling this elastic away from the machine. the safety pin when you get to the end. Overlap the ends by half an inch or more. Now you're back to where you started. The second way to sew in elastic is a little more surefire. It takes some of the guesswork out of sewing your elastic. Take your piece of elastic. This works for your armhole, your neck hole, or your underbust elastic. And we'll talk about your leg elastic next. So take your measurement of elastic from the chart and sew it into a loop, overlapping by half an inch. After you've overlapped, mark, using a marking pen, mark your piece of elastic into quarters. This is easier than pinning. And go ahead and pin your armhole or neck hole into quarters as well with marking the quarters with pins. The seams are at two of the quarters and the pins are at the other. Now let's sew the elastic in. So you start the elastic at one quarter, one of the quarter marks. Put my needle down. And you press, you stretch measuring the mark of the elastic, the mark of the elastic and the pin. So with your fingers, you stretch the, the, you know how much to stretch because you measured them both into quarters. So as you sew up to the pin, you stretch the elastic to reach with a zigzag stitch. Lining up the edge of the elastic and the edge of the suit. When you sew your leg hole elastic, you want to make sure that you do not stretch across the front and you put all the stretch across the back. To finish the neckline, we turn the suit over to the right side. Turn under the part that you already zigzagged once so that you can't see it. And we're going to zigzag around again. As you go, you will turn under the part that you already zigzagged one time and gently pull horizontally away the fabric. Keep turning and adjusting and pulling.
there we are, back to where we started. Your neckline is complete. <laughs>